Hello, my name is Dennis, and welcome to my Trailer Park White Trash Mobile Home Kitchen. I really do live in a mobile home, in a trailer park, and this is my kitchen. We are coming up on summertime here in Southern California. Not that it makes much difference. We only really have two seasons here in Southern California, summer and sort of summer. But anyways, Memorial Day is almost here and Mor Memorial Day heralds a time of year for picnics and backyard barbecues and so forth. I, en I enjoy going to picnics when I'm, in when I'm invited, going to barbecues. If on the grill there are hot dogs and hamburgers, I always go for the hot dogs. Not that I particularly like hot dogs, but the hamburgers I got a plane going overhead. Yeah, I live near the airport. <laughs> I love living in a trailer park, folks. Um, at least the hot dogs have some flavoring in them. The hamburgers are just plain ground beef with nothing else added, cooked on a grill. Well, I, I like things having a little more flavor to them. So what I want to show you today is how I flavor hamburger meat before it's cooked on the grill. Now, I don't have a grill, so I'm gonna cook mine on the stove. Uh, I've never wanted to invest in a grill, but for those of you who love grilling, you can just as easily cook these hamburgers on a grill as you could in a skillet. So let me get into the ingredients that I'm gonna be using for flavoring my hamburger meat today. You can see my ingredients here are fairly simple. I think summer cooking should be simple when the weather is warm. Who wants to have a hot oven on in the house or be cooking over a hot stove? Keep it simple during the summer. It's too warm to be working too hard. What I have here is one pound of fairly lean ground beef. This, this for me is going to make four hamburger patties, about a quarter pound each. So adjust these ingredients according to the number of hamburgers you want to make. So again, one pound of hamburger meat or ground beef. I have here one half teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder. This is a tablespoon of breadcrumbs. When I'm cooking hamburger, I notice that it, it gives off some juice. I'd rather capture that inside the hamburger and keep it a little more juicy. So I'm gonna put some, some breadcrumbs in there that'll hopefully capture some of that juice as the hamburger is cooking. I'm also gonna add some fresh ground black pepper to this maybe a quarter teaspoon at the most. I'm just gonna kinda grate some, some fresh black pepper into it. Um, you can add salt to this if you like. I'm not a big um, user of salt when I'm preparing ingredients to cook. I'd rather salt things before I eat it if I want salt at all. We have to keep our sodium intake low anyway, so because we have high blood pressure in this country. And then I have, what can I say, gourmet? This is regular old American cheese that isn't even sliced. It's squirted onto sheets of plastic and then it goes through rollers and is turned into a, what looks like a slice. I wouldn't serve this with French bread. I might use brie instead, but for hamburgers, I do like the flavor of American cheese. And then rather than using regular old ordinary hamburger buns, when I make my hamburgers, I like to use these onion rolls. I think they have a little more flavor. It dresses up the hamburger a little bit better, makes it taste better and look better. So those are the ingredients I use for making my hamburgers. I'm ready to start combining my ingredients here. There's my hamburger, my breadcrumbs, onion powder, my garlic powder and as I mentioned just a few grindings of fresh ground black pepper there a little bit more I like black pepper and then it's just a matter of mixing all this up how simple is that that's it that's as simple as it is. I mean, it's that simple. It's that easy of summer cooking. So my next step is to shake, shape my pattery, my patties, and then start doing some cooking. I'm ready to start shaping my patties here. I took a spatula and um, just divided this basically into four equal parts. I think that's as good a way as any just to figure out how much is going to go into each hamburger. 
And those of you who've seen my other videos know that I'm a big fan of parchment paper. So I'm just using parchment paper to shape my patties here. You could, if you wanted to, use a second sheet and shape your patties that way. Yeah, I just think it's easy to use one sheet and then kind of just as much as possible keep it round. I'm making fairly large patties because these tend to shrink and I don't want it to shrink smaller than my bun. So let me get a bun out. That sounds awful. Shrink smaller than my buns. So that's slightly larger than my hamburger bun. That should be good enough. Let's start the frying. I do like my, get the heat on there. I do like the buns toasted. So I'm gonna put plenty of butter on these. I'm doing this on a skillet, so it's a lot safer. When you do this on a grill, you have to be careful about the butter not dripping down into the hot coals and flaring up. And then I'll take a few minutes to brown those, check them off and make sure they're browning evenly and then I'll be ready to do the hamburger. To make sure that these are browning evenly, I kind of spin them around a little bit every, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Let's see how these are doing. Ah, they're browning very nicely. I think I'm satisfied with these. So let me get these out of the skillet and I'll put in the hamburger. Turn the heat down a little bit. I don't need the heat around the outside edge of the pan. I can just concentrate it in the center. And this is going to cook until it's fairly well done. I don't like hamburger that's too pink inside. I've got a little digital thermometer here. I'm going to check the internal temperature of my hamburger. It's about 138 right now. I'm going to go a few more minutes. I want to bring this up to about 145, 150. I shouldn't say a few more minutes, a few more seconds. Well, that's plenty high enough now. Look at that. Now it's saying it's 190 something. No, 151, 152. I'm going to go to 155. There's 153. 154, 155. Turn the heat off and get this off the stove. You can see how much that shrunk. That burger was larger than that hamburger bun when I started. But it hasn't shrunk so much that it's this tiny patty in the middle of a bun. Again, I like cheese. So I'm going to place a slice on top. If you wanted to, you could add a second slice on the bottom. I don't need that much cheese. And there is my hamburger. The last thing to video is how good it tastes. Let me see how good my hamburger tastes here. I know this is going to taste good because I've made these so many times. Mmm. It's juicy. It's got a nice flavor to it. So much better than just cooking plain raw hamburger on the grill. Mmm. That is so good. Pardon me, I gotta go have my lunch. For a printable PDF copy of this recipe with step-by-step -step photographs, visit the White Trash Cooking website and look on the home page or in the recipe archive.